in this facility that will produce 3 million devices. And those 3 million devices will be 30% cheaper than if we had imported them complete as units. So we have the benefit of jobs for our young people and we have the benefit of a much more affordable product. I was also able to persuade these two gentlemen and the other investors to preload eCitizen, the platform upon which we are delivering government services on the phones so that every Kenyan who buys this phone will have government services ready on the phone and they don't have to go looking for it. Please, uh, gentlemen, Muliniambia Pale, please. See, tuna, tuna kubaliana vile tumakubaliana. So, mambo mawili tumakubaliana na hawa wangwana. <laughs> Sio yale matatu ni mawili. <laughs> tumakubaliana ya kwanza, eh, ile faida, tulikubaliana na hawa jamaa ya kwamba, mambo ya simu ambayo mwananchi wa kawaida anaweza eh, kununua kwa gharama ambayo inatoshana na mwananchi na simu ambayo inaweza kutumika kama smartphone wananchi wengi vile mmesikia hapa asilimia karibu sabini wananunua simu ya mulikamwizi kwa sababu ya gharama ya simu lakini hiyo mulikamwizi haiwezi kufanya mambo mengi ambayo mwananchi wa kawaida angetaka afanye haiwezi kuwa na data haiwezi kuwa na nini ni inasumbua sasa inakuwa tu ni simu ya kupiga simu kwa voice ama makelele so sasa tunataka kuhamisha tupeleke katika hatua ya pili na kupitia kwa E, kiwanda hii ambayo imetengenezwa hapa ya kwanza tumepata ajira ya vijana wa taifa letu la Kenya ajira ambayo ilikuwa mahali pengine ambazo hizo simu zinatengenezwa jambo la pili tumepata simu kwa bei ambayo ni asilimia thelathini chini ya ile equivalent simu ambayo tungenunua ya tatu sasa tunaweza ku customize hii simu. Nimesema hii simu ambayo sasa tume launch leo ni smartphone. Bei yake vile niliwaeleza wa Kenya ni dola hamsini. Nilikuwa nimebagain na hawa jamaa dola arobaini wameniambia lazima iwe dola hamsini kwa sababu wameweka data pia huko ndani. Kwa sababu wananiambia hii simu smartphone haitakuwa ya faida kama uko na simu ambaye kazi yake tu ni wewe kupiga makelele ya voice. Wakaniambia lazima tuweke 10 dollars ya data. Ndio isaidie so that we can unlock the full potential of a smartphone. It's good to have the phone but it's also better if you have it with the data that is going to support the usability of this phone because it's not just a phone like Mulikamwizi where you make uh, voice calls. And namba ya tatu, nime, namba ine nimekubaliana na wao leo asubuhi nimewashawishi ya kwamba watuweke e-citizen kwa hii simu ili mwananchi akinunua hii simu tayari e-citizen iko hapo anaweza kutafuta na kufikia services ama huduma ya serikali ile gava mkononi sasa itakuwa ndani ya hii simu as a as a as a standard na nambari ya tatu mumesikia ya kwamba kuna nchi zingine wako na mbinu ya vile ya kuhakikisha kwamba tunarahisisha wananchi wengi waweze eh, kufikia kununua hii simu na kufaidika na ile eh, services yote iko ndani ya hiyo simu na capacities ya hiyo simu so tumekubaliana na hawa wangwana tena warudi wapange mawazo yao na ideas na wasaidiane na wizara yetu ili kufikia Januari tuende katika hatua ingine. kwanza iwezekane kwamba mwananchi anaweza kulipa deposit ya hiyo simu na alipe ile pita ananiambia kulipa mdogo mdogo 
So hii simu ambayo ni ya karibu shilingi elfu saba na miatano kuanzia Januari tunataka iwezekane mwananchi alipe deposit ya elfu moja na hiyo ingine alipe polepole shilingi ishirini kila siku tukienda mbele ndio wananchi wengi waweze kulipa hii simu mimi nataka nimwambie bwana Walo na timu yake ya CA na hawa wengine nyinyi mwenza sana muende mfikirie vile tutapunguza hii bei tena you know muende mfikirie what, what kind of collaboration we are going to work ili mwananchi wa kawaida hii simu ya elfu saba tuweze kama tunaweza kuteremusha tena ikuje shilingi elfu mbili ama elfu tatu hapo mbele na tutajua vile tutashirikiana kwa sababu tunataka simu ambayo itamwezesha mwananchi afanye biashara mwananchi aendelee na communication mwananchi apate services ya serikali ndani yake na tuweze kurahisisha biashara kurahisisha huduma ya serikali na sio lazima mtu aende kwa ofisi fulani ama aone mtu fulani tunaweza kufanya kazi yetu vile tunaendesha biashara ya kukopesha pesa kwa hasla fund hakuna mtu anakutana na mwenzake hakuna committee hakuna ofisi ya kwenda committee ni simu na mwenyewe finish tunasonga mbele that's how it should be and that's how we want to deliver government services going into the future um, so i have said i congratulate all the investors my good friends in safaricom jami telecom um, our friends from china congratulations uh, the representative is here asante sana you have already made your mark and claimed your place in the history of kenya's transformation i encourage you to sustain this momentum of innovation in order to support and deepen a culture of digital enterprise research and development in our country and in order to deliver the dream of africa's silicon savanna and the power of actualization of our development agenda this plant affirms our credentials as a global digital economy powerhouse and silicon savannah's africa hub for innovation and everything technology i appeal to more investors to take similar decisive action because opportunity still abounds just on this factory alone we can create many more factories we can create many more suppliers locally and i insist deliberately locally i have said that we must be intentional we must be deliberate about growing our manufacturing opportunities capacity and potential in kenya as i said and we put it in the budget we also put uh, the, the the interventions that have enabled this factory in the budget that we must grow our local manufacturing uh, capabilities whether it is in cement in steel in timber products in technology space it must be intentional i am very happy also that the conversation i have had with edac is that they want us to market these products beyond kenya i want to assure you that i will lead the charge in making sure that the products we get out of this factory the products we get from all our other factories have access not just to the kenyan market but to the regional market to the international market as well because we can make the finest of products i am already getting information that our collaborators the collaborators of uh, safaricom and jami telecom in this are already saying the human capital in kenya is first class and we have said that before so we want to deploy this great human capital to get the products that we can use to drive our own transformation our job creation our export led economy and be able to uh, grow our economy in that context um, we have a pool of talent as i have said and human capital available on this side of the world and a government that is ready and uh, that is ready to support initiatives that expand access and create jobs and we want to make 
devices even cheaper using means like the universal service fund and other interventions. And I am happy that uh, the people in charge of universal service fund are here. You have heard my pronouncement, please work with industry so that that universal fund becomes truly universal by making it possible for more Kenyans to access uh, these uh, devices. I know when I mentioned uh, in one meeting, I attended a meeting of uh, Kenya Chamber of Commerce, and I told them that we were working on a program where we will end up with a $40, $50 device. Many people there were skeptical like it is always, you know, because uh, that, that is how we are. But I want to persuade you that the power of vision and the power of faith cannot be replaced by anything else, you know. We have many people who, whenever they hear me speak about the future of Kenya, they say, oh, William Ruther has made another promise. I made a commitment about the device, these phones. It looked like a promise. Today it's reality. And it is because of the power of vision and the power of faith. So, you know, it's very difficult for people to see as far as what the vision entails. Many people look at today, at best tomorrow. Yeah, and, and that is how we, we have so many Thomases in between. Who, uh, you remember the story of Jesus and the people who had told him, oh, Jesus, you know, has risen from the, death and, uh, from the dead. And Thomas was saying, ah, no, you are scanning. Let me, uyo mutu ati munasema ati, ule tu, alikuwa amechomwa na, na mkuki ati ameamuka. Ebu niguze maali alikuwa amechomwa. You know, that, so that's where we are. But, I want to promise you the same way Jesus rose, we are going to take this country to the next level. And um, that is the power of having a vision and driving our country, knowing very well that even in the context of where we are, we must never be distracted by the challenges that we have. We must see them as an encouragement to where we want to get as a nation, because we must get there. Kenya is a great nation. Kenya is a great country, a country of tremendous potential. And this time round, we must get it right. And we must take Kenya wherever, it, wherever we want it. And we are going to make the decisions, however difficult, that will take Kenya where we all want. Because when I listen to Kenyans, they know where this country should be. The only problem we have is sometimes we don't have the courage to make the decisions that will take us there. Um, when the president of uh, Singapore visited us, and we all celebrate Singapore, we say, you know, Singapore is a great country almost 90% of their population, everybody has a house. It is uh, moved from, it was the same category as Kenya a few years ago. Today, it is in the first world. When I spoke to the president of Singapore, he told me they made very difficult decisions. In fact, the minister who was in charge of their housing program the program they are very proud of today, their signature program globally of housing. The minister hanged himself when he made the wrong decision. And so many people were forced to go into modern houses. They were very happy living in slums because many of them, I'm told, they were complaining, if you move us to this very smart slum, uh, very smart uh, flats on 10th floor, 15th floor, where are we going to make our Chang'a and our Busa because we are used to making them in the slums? And that was in Singapore. 
So, good people, we must change this country. I don't think we have another option. Yeah? And the young people who are pushing us, we have millions of Kenyans, talented, hardworking, educated. They are looking for opportunity. We cannot postpone their future. We must make the decisions now to enable them get the opportunities tomorrow. And I promise you one thing. I will make all the decisions necessary to make Kenya the great country we all want it to be. Without a doubt.